Hapur. Hapur means the house of light. The house of light. Okay. And Horbus, so Horbur is the enlightenment. Horus, the god Horus, the god of light in Edfu. Okay. For the mythology, for the mythology in, in Egyptian mythology, is like the husband and the wife. So they're a marriage. Uh, kind of. But they actually didn't exist. They were concept. How the light searches for the home. And the home takes the light within. <coughs> so it's a concept of a spiritual marriage between the light and home here in this world. Okay. So the marriage between Horus and Hathor is basically to bring the light of the heavens to the earth. Okay, so that's the the concept of this marriage. So this temple we are going to visit now is from the Greek Roman time, meaning that you can see the hieroglyphics, the colors, everything is kind of still already. When you enter the temple, you will see that the goddess Hathor has the face of a cow. So you you see the rounded face of a woman with the ears of a cow. Why the cow? Why this mother of love is a cow? Because cows live their life for humans. That was the thought they had in that time. From the cow, we have the milk for the village and the family. The how do you say the skins for the dresses. Um, we have the. Um, um, the meat for all the population, uh, the bones for tools, uh, and also they are the mothers of the new ones that we that they need for the farms, and also they create the bulls that will um, how do you say in English to plow yeah to plow the the fields so you can see uh, the seeds. Some people did. If the cow is this loving being that gives us everything with love, so we can survive, so the universe must be a cow. <coughs> so, what they did was to imagine that there is a huge cow in the universe walking around and opening the ground for the sowing of worlds. So, you can see how this cow gives its milk to every one of the planets and they saw that path and call it the Milky Way, okay? The reason why we call it the Milky Way is because of the ancient traditions, they said that the cow created the universe, okay? So it's, it's a milky white path. Cube protected by cows. And so this case, this um, structure is called the house of light because you see all the lights in the heaven. That's why Hathur, which in Egyptian is the house of light. See how in the roof of the, the ceiling of the temple, you have the columns with the square and the cows holding everything, and all the entire roof is every constellation in the heavens. <coughs> so you will see the 12 constellations of the zodiac signs in the borders, hold by the Milky Way, and all the rest of the constellations in the center. The most amazing in temples because the roof is still painted in blue, like a sky. The temple was a temple for astronomy, astrology, <coughs> but also to bring heaven and earth through the spirits. So how do you make a spirit to be born in this planet? Basically through sex. So what they were teaching this temple was how to have a sacred sexuality how to make a master from the stars be born on the ground, in this planet. Mm -hmm. What we do is to bring that information. We have been preparing for being the mother, but what we will do is to bring that information from the heavens, normally to the womb, okay? To be anchored here in this, in this world. Almost. So uh, usually the, the priestess here are very sexual. Uh, because it's through pleasure that you can download this uh, this information. In heaven and earth is to put intention in the orgasm to be able to create. We can go through the mind and we work through the astrology and astronomy. 
but for the astrology and astronomy to be manifested in the matter, we need the pleasure of, of reality. What we will do in the temple, we have 12 chambers, precisely, for each one of the constellations that we are. So we will go each one in, first we will do a job all together to prepare, and then uh, no need for being in the circles, and then we will divide in circles, so I will say here goes Aries, here Taurus, and so on, in, one, in each one of the chambers. And there will be the download. I will explain uh, these of the constellations. Was that each one of the archetypes, of the 12 archetypes that we have, um, we usually work with them by separate, but we have to prepare the new ones to become all of them at once with unity. The different signs are like cosmic portals for information that is coming, so I would like to explain a little bit of how that process is done so we can understand what we are bringing. When we say the new ones will come from the stars, we usually say people coming from this constellation or that constellation, but actually they are not coming from that constellation. They are coming from different stars or different information from different places. Because when we say the constellation of Aries, for example, we can only see Aries from the Earth. But if we try to go to Aries, we will find that here is a little star of Aries, and maybe back there, billions of years of year, like back there, you have a galaxy that seems from here a star, which is part of the constellation, but they are not related at all. So, so uh, the constellations doesn't exist as a group of stars, they exist as a concept <coughs> from Earth. Okay, that's something to understand. That the archetypes are not from the heavens, are humans. So I, what I mean is that the stars brings data to us through the photons. So the information is coming towards us anyway. But it doesn't mean that the stars from Aries will bring <coughs> information regarding to the archetype of Aries means that uh, it's not that every ray of light that comes from the constellation of Aries is related to the love for yourself. <coughs> I don't know if you know any Aries. But uh, the love for yourself, maybe the information for, for that, that Aries, that, that is love for others. <laughs> um, so it's not related with the, with the concept we have of the archetype. It's the information that is coming from the stars. The sun has 11 year cycle of storms and 2024, 2025 will be one of the strongest ones because uh, it completes also a huge cycle of sun centuries. So it will be strong. Yeah. So that's why we are preparing the planetary network is because of what is going to happen in 2024. Mm -hmm. Takes all its storm to the planet it get mixed with all the light of the constellations, meaning that it will affect even more all the data that is coming from the heavens. See, from the constellations, it will be uploaded in a new um, object of energy, of consciousness. Is that all the beings that are going to be born in the planet during this process, this period, will be receiving much more update of information than the previous ones, okay? Because of all the photons in our body creating <coughs> ourselves, our being. What we are trying to do is to order the magnetical field of each one of the portals. So when this heat of energy comes, it's order and it's not like a explosion of energy in the new beings, is to bring balance to each one of the portals that we will be in areas, the portals of Taurus, the portals of, and so on. So we can have this kind of balance to create a perfect node. To, with Gideon we will walk around and maybe tell you how to regulate or listen better so you can balance with harmony with the others. People that sing perfectly, but sometimes are dissonant. Why is this? Because it, it's not about how much you know how to sing. It's about how harmonious you are with the rest. It's about 
finding what you need to do in order to resound okay with the other so if we go around and maybe touch your shoulder or do like this pay attention it's not that you're singing wrong is that you are doing something very different from what your circle is doing 